the given equation relates the positive numbers p, n, and c. Which equation correctly expresses c in terms of p and n? So we're given this equation here, p equals n times the quantity 19 minus c. And we need to solve for c in terms of p and n, which means we have to isolate c to one side alone, and p and n should be on the other side. So we can start by dividing both sides of the equation by n. And before we do that, we can look back at the problem statement, and it says that the values p, n, and c are all positive numbers, which means that p, n, and c do not equal 0, which means we're allowed to divide by these variables because they're non-zero, because dividing by 0 otherwise is not allowed. So after dividing both sides by n, n over n is just 1. So on the right-hand side, we'll just be left with 19 minus c. And on the, right, uh, on the left side, we'll be left with p over n. And now we can subtract 19 from both sides so that the right-hand side, 19 minus 19, becomes 0. We'll just be left with negative c. And on the left-hand side, we'll have p over n minus 19. Now we can multiply both sides by a negative 1. This way, now this p over n term is negative, and the negative 19 becomes positive. So we'll be left with 19 minus p over n. And on the right-hand side, we'll just be left with c. So now we've isolated c and expressed it in terms of p and n. And that is answer choice D.